unfortunately yesterday i did recorded the video but uh, the voice was not recorded because the settings were changed hopefully today we will be uh, able to <coughs> uh, record both okay so let us start you could see on the screen uh, the uh, MCU 8051 uh, interactive development environment it is a software and the good thing about the software is that it is available free of cost you can download it uh, I had already shared the link and I had shared a video how you will install this microcontroller uh, simulator in your laptop or desktop unfortunately we do not have a uh, uh, version uh, of this simulator available for Android so it is uh, it cannot be run in a mobile phone although there are some applications available in mobile also but they are not so uh, powerful rather very basic functions are available in those types of uh, applications so it is better to use a laptop or desktop and install this software and uh, uh, learn programming in 8051 okay so uh, uh, so i hope you already know about 8051 uh, interactive development environment i had already shared one video about it and how it can be installed and uh, there are few things that had uh, i had already mentioned the uh, um, many of the things you could see on the screen itself so there is uh, uh, this RAM area available then some of the SFRs are mentioned here TCON, TMOD, DPTR, SP, SBUF, PCON, SCON these are SFRs although I haven't talked about uh, uh, all these SFRs because they are special function registers and used for some special function uh, like uh, uh, in timers or in interrupt programming or in uh, serial communication uh, but uh, some of them are used for general programming also like your uh, uh, PSW the program status word and uh, you are already aware with uh, the DPTR data pointer stack pointer and uh, this PC the program counter the content of these registers uh, could be seen in this window okay <clears throat> so i would be just uh, i've written some, some random instructions on uh, uh, this window this is the area where you have to write the program okay and i would just be uh, executing it uh, instruction by uh, instruction uh, so that every change that is happening in the microcontroller we will try to analyze the various changes okay so let us start the first of all the first thing uh, after writing the complete program uh, one one thing I should uh, mention here uh, mention here is that uh, you have to start the program with uh, org and uh, then you have to mention the, uh, the the starting address where the program has been written okay so org uh, right now the program starts from 0000h program is written in uh, rom you already know that okay so org basically is a directive and it tells the microcontroller or rather the assembler to start executing the program from uh, the memory location shown by uh, uh, by the numbers followed by org okay similarly there is one more directive which is end and it should always be there in any program that you write in microcontroller 8051 and even in other microcontrollers also uh, and this indicate that uh, we have come to the end of a program so org and end are an integral part of any program that you write in 8051 
and these are called directives also okay fine okay so first of all what you have to do uh, after writing the program you have to uh, you see uh, start and shut down simulator so you have to click this so once you click this uh, uh, it will ask you to recompile the code so you have to press yes then uh, compilation has uh, already been done so if there is any error in program uh, then at the time of compilation it will show here in this area say for example uh, um, i do some error say i remove this hash bit when when uh, you have to write in uh, in the editor uh, area of the program you have to again move it back to the uh, editor mode so i am removing this hash here now there should be some error which should pop up when i compile the program so i am compiling it again okay okay uh, okay so it's working fine so there was no error while uh, removing that hash area uh, okay so let me um, just create a uh, rather uh, blender some blender okay say move i write move so move is uh, not an instruction in 8051 and it should uh, show some error yes so you could see here that compilation failed and the message here it is uh, showing that unknown keyword move so this move is not identified with 8051 so that is why it is showing an error here okay fine so what we have to do definitely we have to correct it so i have corrected it and now again i am compiling it so now it will not show any error so this program is now compiled so let us start uh, so uh, you could see here uh, this is a step by step execution of the program oh, let me once again compile it okay uh, okay now everything is reset a is zero b is zero all things are zero here you could see here okay so now i will be pressing it uh, and it will start executing if you want the program to be executed in one go then you have to press this okay animate program here and if you want to execute it step by step then you have to press either here or here you can uh, you can use at any place okay so i'm just pressing this so you see org0 i have this uh, ljmp instruction which is pointing to some level I will come to that. So right now I have uh, co commented it. So when you write uh, 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 what you call uh, uh, semicolon here, so that instruction is commented. Okay. Uh, rather we use comments to uh, explain what exactly a particular instruction is doing. Okay. So that is why uh, label uh, this uh, semicolon is used. Right now, sir, so LJMP label. I will make it a part of program later on. Right now, I have commented it. So the program starts from move a zero uh, hash twenty five h. So we know that when I uh, execute this instruction twenty five, this number twenty five will move to a here. Okay. And what else will happen? Acha, one more thing. You see the program counter. It is start pointing at zero 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 h. Okay. So when I just press this. So I'm pressing it. Okay, once. So what has happened? Just see. So A it has now the value 25 in hex. In decimal, it is 37. In binary, in octal, all forms you can find it here below. Okay. And uh, and one more thing that you see that P becomes one. This is part this is the last bit of lsp of psw program status word and it has become uh, okay one more thing i forgot to tell zero uh, red red indicates that it is zero okay so these red uh, when they are red these things it indicates it is zero here and when it becomes green that means it it is now one so why it has become one this is parity and since number of ones here are odd 
zero one uh, one two and three three ones are there so it has become one so is it fine and now look at the program uh, counter program counter points to the address of the next instruction you know that isn't it so now it is uh, pointing to two okay so first instruction was written at 0000h now it is pointing to 0002h so why not 0001h can anybody tell me can anybody tell me are you listening Uh, can anybody tell me why program counter is now showing 0002h here and why not uh, 0001 uh, uh, no uh, actually uh, this first instruction move a move a has got an opcode and it is an 8 bit of code please remember that all the instruction in 8051 are 8 bit uh, sorry uh, one byte instruction uh, the the only the instruction part it is of one byte okay so that needs to be stored in uh, one byte area fine so the first area that was pointed by PC was 000H that was an area one byte area so the opcode of move a which was one byte in what one byte okay it is stored there in 000H and the next this number right 25 it has to be stored somewhere in the ROM itself so the next area 0001H contains this 25 so let me show you here i think i can show you code memory yes code memory see here uh actually i haven't uh, uh, cleaned it anyway already some uh, uh, things are written here in the program area and it is because uh, i haven't uh, cleaned this area anyway i am uh, uh, more interested in these first two the first area is 000h which has got 74 now 74 is the opcode for move instruction move a move a instruction okay and this 25 is the number is it fine so this is for at 0001 now from 2 to 2 this is move 32h comma a so when i execute this then whatever is there in a which is 25 we know that it is 25 it will move to the memory uh, address 32h okay in the ram so let me move it further yes so now to find where 32 you see here it is 32 this is the 32 uh, h memory address and now it has got 25 value can you see here fine <laughs> and uh, one more thing you could observe here that pc has now increased to 4 again it is not increased to 3 it has increased to 4 why the same concept move again has got uh, the one minute i should open that okay uh, is it opened oh just a minute okay show code memory okay uh, okay fine let me bring it here so at uh, 001 was 25 that number now at 002 is 32 okay now 32 is the op code for move 32 h instruction okay and then uh, 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 then uh, whatever uh, was there uh, in A it 
got copied into the memory address 32 okay okay fine so okay Achha, achha. so let me what should i do let me change uh, the setting again i think i have to stop presenting first then i have to again start presenting the entire screen okay share and now i think uh, it is visible is it visible now uh, yes is it visible now uh, this is the area so that was what i was talking about the first area the second area third area and so on okay so uh, so now we are we have moved to another instruction move 35 h comma a so let me execute this instruction that means now 35 a also 35 h will also contain the value which is in a so you could see here this one now the 35 h this is the memory in the ram and now it has the value 25 h <laughs> fine so let's again move to next instruction and next instruction was set b 21 h so that was uh, this is a bit instruction so which is making the bit memory bit memory 21 equal to 1 so let me open the bit area yes this is the bit area this is the bit area red means all are zero so but 21 this is you see 21 is here it is now green 21 is green so it starts from zero this is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and so on till one f and then from two zero two one two 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 three till till three f and so on till seven f so area 0, 0 to 7f uh, this are bit addressable and uh, um, and uh, these are bit addresses and each of these uh, bytes are having a separate address also that is 20 this is 20 then 21 then 22 23 is it clear can you uh, uh, are you uh, getting what i am trying to convey each of these bits are having a separate address and this complete byte any 8 bits are having a separate address 20 this i think i have explained when i was discussing the memory locations ram and rom in 8051 anyway uh, i was more interested in telling you that after this move uh, set b instruction 21h has now become equal to 1 that it is set uh then uh, move p0 this is port uh port 0 so port is already one so it won't make much effect i should have written uh, 0 0 here to okay let me write 0 0 so that you could see what is happening at the port 0 0 h again let it recompile it okay so everything becomes zero again so step by step execution till i move to this p0 now p0 is a port port right uh, by default all the ports are at one okay so when i click it just see this what has happened now port zero all the bits have become zero fine then uh, add a uh, comma r not that means add the content of a and r not and store it in a itself so a now it is having 25 and r not r not r not it is containing 21 see r not this is r not it is containing 21 so if you add these two 21 and 25 how much it will come it will be 21 and 25 is 46 
okay so let me execute this line so just see a has now become 46 okay then uh, uh, okay then uh, this is uh, actually uh, indirect addressing mode uh, so move what is there in r not r not has got 21 move that into the memory address 56 okay so if i execute this instruction okay so uh, i have to check in 56 56 uh 56h 56h i can actually check it uh, from here also area uh, not here uh code memory sfr no not here so anyway so 56 at the r okay so what uh, will this instruction do uh, whatever is there in the address pointed by r not so at 21 21 it has got 0 0 so no effect is observed here so 56 is 0 if there would have been some number in 21 then that would have been moved to 56 area so okay so let's skip this okay then i have written a very simple set of instructions which multiply 10 by 25 okay and i have shown here the use of this one of the uh, conditional jump instruction which is djnz decrease r2 if not equal to zero okay so and decrease and jump and decrease r2 and jump if not equal to zero so first of all i have uh, cleared a so when i press this so a becomes zero and then i am storing 10 in r2 so when i click this then r2 now has got value 10 oa is 10 actually because i haven't written hex here so that means if nothing is written that means it is uh, uh, in decimal fine if i would i would have written h here then uh, uh, it would have been uh, in hex 10 okay that means 17 anyway so uh, I, I am more interested in number 10 10 into 25 so you haven't written h and h here so next is add a 25 means uh, add a, a is initially having 0 so 25 would be added to 0 now after the execution of this instruction a will have the value 25 so right now a is 0 you could see here and now after the execution of this instruction uh, it has the value 1 9 actually uh, it is 25 is in decimal and a hex it is 1 9 okay so and it has moved to this point and r2 r2 is oa so when i click this again so it will be reduced by 1 yes see here it has now become 0 9 and it has reduced by 1 and the control has moved to this uh, level again and then back to this okay and uh, then again if i add 25 to a so 25 will again be added to a so it will become in decimal it will become 50 it becomes 50 in decimal okay again r2 will reduce by 1 and it will become 0 8 you could see here 8 and uh, achha, one more thing you could see that this will also affect the psw register so PSW register carry flag is there and auxiliary carry so that means uh, there is a auxiliary carry you know what is auxiliary carry the uh, there is carry from here to here okay ok 
okay so these are the few things that i was interested in showing you and uh, i hope uh, that uh, programming in 8051 is quite uh, interesting and very simple okay one thing i left was this ljmp label so if i remove I first have to move from the simulator mode to the editing mode then let me remove this uh, semi uh, this semicolon then you see now this becomes a part of the instruction now if i compile it again everything is reset and now see, see what have i have one more thing this green line here indicates where the uh, the assembler is where it is executing so once i click this so that means just see what is happening green line will move from here to this label label is here okay ljmp label label is here so it will move from here to here just see this and program counter it is zero here and will move here program counter see this yes it has moved in just one step it has moved from here to here skipped all the instructions in between and program counter it is having the value 11h okay so is it fine and uh, acha one more thing stack pointer is not affected when we are using ljmp instruction but when we are using the conditional jump so there is a some interrupt then uh this stack pointer is affected it stores the value of program counter and then program counter is uh, fed with the uh, the label value address pointed by label and then when the service routine is there or simple call in, uh, a call has been uh, made then first it executes those sets of instruction come back and that that happens by popping the value from the stack pointer into the program counter okay then uh, there are few things but uh, when you do some intense uh, programming then you will be encountering like uh, io port uh, you could see each of their four ports in 8051 and all of them are uh, having 8 bits so you would, could obtain a waveform actually here in this uh, window uh say if you are uh, trying to generate some square pulses at port 1 1 pin 1 okay so you can generate and you can see observe here also okay uh okay so and there are some virtual hardwares also that you can connect and uh, they will work well when you are doing some programming related to them okay so led panel display matrix lcd uh, also temperature sensor and many things are there so once you start doing some intense programming then uh, you might be requiring these uh, tools in your program and you can uh, simulate them and you can observe the results very easily <laughs> so that's all from my side and uh, let me first uh, okay 